ladies and gentlemen. We under a new seven, a totally new seven. Add up 2023, not numerically, but numerologically. Numerically, you're gonna get 43 if you add it all up. And I'm not talking about like in the hundredth place, the thousandth place, no. Add it and reduce it and you get seven. So we in a new seven, a new creation. This, you know, seven represents the days of creation. It's six days of creation, the seventh to rest. We in a new one, which is which is, means all of the rules are changed. All of the all of the placings are flipped. Everything is flipped. We're not under a a masculine version of God now. We're under a feminine version of God. This is why everybody's talking about going within. And you have people like Jesus really trying to prep you for this saying i'm not gonna i'll be with you to the end of the age and he kept saying you know i have to leave but you can't go where i'm going so he knew that it was his time to go jesus was not like i said in another video he wasn't meant to stay on the scene so all the creation is different now things might look the same but it's totally different everything's different this is why a lot of the old orthodoxy techniques and rules these things don't really apply now. And you have like when people are like trying to work it out the old way, why they're not really getting the results that they uh, used to get. It's not happening like that no more because we're not even under that. anymore. We're not under any of that anymore. It's a totally different. It's a totally different thing. You want to pay attention to this because under this new way. The folks that you think are the bad guys from the last age are really the good guys in the new age. Just like you go into a dance and they say switch and <laughs> you switch partners. You know what I mean? That's what this is. This is a switch in the dance. You switch your partners. You was dancing with this one. You was dancing with uh, the Yahweh Jehovah. You was dancing with, with Jesus. And now you got to dance with somebody else. I recommend you dance in the mirror. <laughs> Look at yourself because you're going to be the one thing that's a constant. No matter how many gods come and go at the end of the day, it's still you still going to have to deal with yourself and you still going to have to deal with you no matter what. No matter what you're under, no matter what kind of regime changes you got to deal with. You still going to have to deal with you at the end of the day. This is a dark time, though, if you're not ready for the change if you weren't anticipating it and especially especially <laughs> if you didn't um mentally transmute the dark side if you left all of that in the taboo category you didn't learn any of their characteristics didn't study any of their any of their powers you're gonna be blindsided and left in the dark you're gonna have neither a hero nor an, nor an enemy and this is rough because at least with one side of the pole expressing itself you could kind of configure what the other pole is if you know where bad is you're gonna pretty much know where good is in relation to bad it's gonna give you a sense of direction but now you got you have neither one you don't you have neither a hero so when you got neither one, you're dealing with a great reset. I mean, the reset was deeper than just society, the technocracy, the monetary system. That was just the tip of the iceberg on the great reset. It's a total reset. It's a reset of belief. It's a reset of people. It's a reset of values. You know, Some things will stand the test of time, of course. And those are the, like, love, patience, you know, virtue, wisdom, knowledge. These things are staying the test of time. But if you were making these things more objectified in your experience, then you're gonna be you're gonna be platooned <laughs> pretty much. You're gonna be basically stranded. There was a lot of subtle idolatries going on. 
You know, you had people calling the Bible a holy book. There's no such thing as a holy book, even if divine information is in it. A book is still an object. So a lot of people still got tricked into worshiping a book like a literal book, no matter what the information is in it. You can't worship the book itself. You can follow the instructions that's in it. <laughs> but you can't you can't deify a piece of paper with a leather cover. And that's what a lot of people did. They said, this is the word and God is the word. And in the beginning, well, hold on. Now those men who wrote it and was given the inspiration, they weren't there in the beginning. <laughs> they weren't there in the beginning. So you can't, you can't really deify that. And a lot of people are, you know, again, spiritually stranded because of this. So they they had, they had a hard reset. You know, a heart reset. You know what that is, right? You got to, it's like starting all over. You, know, you hit, you do a heart reset. You'll start losing numbers. You'll start losing contacts. You lose all the dresses. You got to basically start your whole point of contact over and, and reassess your spheres of influence you got to reassess all of that when you're dealing with a reset that's great like on that level that's that's what you got to do and it's going to take time but the quicker the quicker you adjust to it the better the better off you'll be so transmute that stuff and a lot of people are still they still are weary of learning about the dark side because they're under this whole notion that they got to worship. You, know, you got to take words like worship out of your vocabulary. <laughs> because even what you thought you was bowing down to in the old age was not what you thought it was. You got uh, admissions made, not omissions, but admissions made in the Old Testament that a lot of those instructions were coming through an, a deceiving spirit. Yeah, otherwise, Jesus wouldn't have told the Pharisees, nah, your father's the devil who's been deceiving you from the very beginning. And then talking about in Daniel, how he could stand in the temple in the seat of God and not be God. He told people to run for the hills. Where's the hill at? Right up here. You got to run to the mind. You got people fighting against the mind too, putting the heart over the mind. And there's some validity to that because we in the age of going within. So, you know, just a little food for thought, you know, take your time with this and like take take hold of this with both hands. Um, this new age that we in, because it's definitely new, but everything is new. So you got to be flexible and you got to be ready.